Recent actions by Denzel Washington have ignited debates regarding Tyler Perry's genuineness. Denzel's deep-rooted Christian faith shines through in both his performances and interviews, painting a picture of authenticity. On the flip side, Tyler Perry's actions, as hinted by Denzel, raise eyebrows about his sincerity. What could Denzel have disclosed about Tyler that threatens his reputation? Let's dive in. But before we do, ensure you're subscribed to our channel and have activated notifications for more engaging content like this. Not all adversities turn out to be as daunting once overcome, often leaving valuable lessons in their wake. Tyler Perry's undeniable talent notwithstanding his portrayal of religious themes often comes across as convoluted and somewhat superficial, merely serving the narrative rather than emanating from true belief. Contrarily, Denzel Washington's career is a testament to his unshakable principles and dignity. His immaculate public persona and professionalism highlight his authentic self, unlike Tyler Perry who appears more amenable to compromising his artistic values to fit Hollywood's mold, as seen in his controversial choices, such as cross-dressing for laughs, which sparks debate over the underlying messages, particularly regarding gender norms. The murmurs surrounding Tyler Perry's ascent hint at a more intricate narrative, one possibly marred by manipulation and undue influence, casting shadows on his standing. In stark contrast stands Denzel, the embodiment of genuine integrity, raising the question, does Denzel represent an ideal of integrity unattainable by Perry? Denzel famously said, you have to use your gifts. Faith without works is dead. This principle is evident in his life and career, where his faith is not just a backdrop, but a guiding force. His sage advice during the 2022 Oscars and his profound discussions about the spiritual battles faced in life highlight the depth of his conviction and the role of faith in overcoming life's challenges. Denzel's humility and acknowledgement of his successes as blessings from a higher power underscore a life lesson in gratitude and humility, recognizing the divine origin of our gifts. His role in A Journal for Jordan further exemplifies his dedication to infusing his faith into his craft, presenting a character whose every decision is steered by his spiritual beliefs. In a society quick to equate strength with brute masculinity, Denzel offers a refreshing perspective, advocating for humility and divine guidance as the truest forms of strength. He calls upon men to honor and respect their divine gifts, promoting virtues of strength, leadership, and patience as divine endowments. Beyond his cinematic endeavors, Denzel uses his platform to share his spiritual journey, aiming to inspire and ignite faith in others. His commitment to sharing his experiences openly marks a profound desire to connect with others on a deeper spiritual level. In a poignant anecdote, Denzel recounts an encounter that mirrored his role in Training Day, challenging societal norms and prejudices, and highlighting the power of perspective and understanding. As the world grapples with increasing alienation, Denzel Washington's steadfast adherence to authenticity and humility emerges as a guiding light. Meanwhile, Tyler Perry's interpretation of Christianity, scrutinized for its potential superficiality and depicted satirically in the boondocks, draws a stark contrast, inviting viewers to reflect on the essence of true faith and integrity. The boondocks itself, through its incisive humor and commentary, explores themes of race, politics, and societal norms, leaving a lasting impact over its four-season run. In 2010, the Boondocks took a bold swing with an episode titled Pause, casting a satirical eye on Tyler Perry and his iconic media character. The plot weaves a tale of Granddad landing a role in a play directed by Winston Jerome, a not-so-subtle nod to media, revealing Jerome's hidden life and his use of religion as a mask. Rumblings emerged of Perry's dissatisfaction, leading to whispers of staff firings to seal any leaks. Amidst swirling lawsuit rumors, Perry maintains silence is golden, dismissing the lawsuit chatter as mere fabrications. Perry's rebuttal. Then I asked Jesus, how can I further spread your message on earth? And he said, cross-dressing, did little to quell the storm. Reports from the Los Angeles Times hinted at Perry's behind-the-scenes maneuvers post-episode, potentially straining ties with Turner Broadcasting, the umbrella for his numerous shows. The episode in question quietly receded from the public eye its fate officially unconfirmed. 
Carl Jones, a creative force behind the boondocks, peeled back layers on the Winston Jerome controversy and its resonance with Perry. A foiled meeting between Jones and Perry hinted at lingering discontent over the portrayal. The creator's initial bold move to mirror Perry in the character saw a strategic retreat, opting for Perry's lesser-known birth name, Emmett Perry Jr., to fly under the radar until Perry himself connected the dots, prompting a network call. Tyler Perry's brush with controversy extends to his association with influential figures like Bishop T.D. Jakes. Perry's generous million-dollar donation to the Potter's House Church, earmarked for youth center development, sparked debate within Christian circles. Despite criticisms, Bishop Jakes, a figure straddling both spiritual and entertainment realms, has adeptly navigated his dual roles. His journey from modest beginnings to a towering presence in the religious community, compounded by his ventures into music and film, paints a complex portrait of a man at the crossroads of faith and fame. The Bishop's ties with entertainment moguls like Scene Diddy Combs have fueled further speculation and controversy, especially in the wake of a TikTok influencer's allegations against Diddy. The ensuing digital furor, amplified by rumors of scandalous gatherings and veiled hints at the mysterious circumstances surrounding Kim Porter's passing, have thrust Diddy, and by extension Jake's, into a maelstrom of public scrutiny. In a move to quell the rising tide of accusations, Bishop Jakes took to the pulpit, streamed across the globe to vehemently refute the claims, insisting on his integrity. I'm not here to persuade you or anyone else of my character. I am secure in who I am, he declared, inviting viewers to draw their own conclusions. As we wrap up today's narrative, we invite you to engage, like, and subscribe, ensuring you're notified of our latest explorations.